fun to plan. Something humid in here. It can be something. Yeah, this equipment generates a tremendous amount of heat. All right, so basically here's what we got. Uh, we've been working in this lab for, this is my second year, and this is uh, called our uh, alpha particle line. So back there is a the particle accelerator. So that literally accelerates these alpha particles to extremely high speed, and then that shoots these alpha particles on down into this chamber where we can hook up all kinds of different detectors for doing different kinds of measurements. But what we really need is a chamber that we can really customize, the chamber where we can go ahead and pretty much do whatever we want. So this is the last port that we have where we actually have enough room to put a chamber on it, so we're getting the last beam line on this. We're gonna take this, we're gonna need the tube that's gonna come off this, that's gonna allow for the out particles to travel through, then it's gonna go into a vacuum chamber. And what's nice about this is uh, whatever vacuum chamber we put on here, we can customize it to whatever experiment that we want to do. Asked around and we've gotten quotes on parts to put this thing together. Uh, we were looking at, uh, we got quotes anywhere from $25,000 to $100,000 to build a really basic vacuum chamber setup. Uh, our goal is to do it for less than five hundred. But uh, we know a lot of labs on campus, we know a lot of people, so we're going to ask around, we're going to see what we can do to find that vacuum equipment. We can't spend $50,000 trying to put together a, uh, our own beamline system. Uh, but uh, we have a couple of clever ideas. One of them is a buddy of mine, uh, Steve Lynch, works over at Four Peaks Brewing Company. It's one of our local microbrews. And uh, we're pretty sure that he has something that can help us put this in again. So are we scheduled to go to Four Peaks to go yeah. check it out and meet so with them? So we're going to grab a couple of our staff. We're going to head down to Four Peaks. Okay. And uh, we're going to see what we can see what they got for us. So Terry here, just jumping in real fast. So we ended up going to Four Peaks. We had a super awesome time. We met up with Steve, who was one of the owners slash managers there. We got there, he gave us a grand tour, showed us the process of how everything works. And we got some food. Ian and Neil had some beers. We actually walked out with some beer as well. But the most important thing that we walked out of there with were the beer kegs. Now that's what Ian was referring to earlier, were those beer kegs, and that's what we're gonna use for that vacuum chamber that you were seeing before in IB. So it should be really cool. We're gonna do some tests and make sure it's all good, but um, really fun day at Four Peaks and we got what we needed. Successful score. I'd say so. Yeah, free beer. Hey guys, Ian here. So this is what we got. This is the cake that we picked up from uh, Four Peaks Brewing Company. So we're going to take this thing into the I-beam lab over here. And our goal on this thing is we want to see if we can hit 10 to the minus 6 torr. So to put that into perspective, atmospheric pressure right now is around 760 torr. So we're going to really be pumping this thing down pretty far. So we're going to take the guts out of the top on this thing right here. We're going to find some fittings that we can weld up onto the top of this thing. And we're going to mount up a couple of gauges. We're going to have a, our turbo pump that we located. We're going to mount that up on top. That's going to go down to a mechanical roughing pump down on the bottom. And basically, after we get this thing welded up and put together, we'll see if it works out or not. 